Hello everyone, my name is Mauricio and today I'm going to talk about debugging Kubernetes E2E tests with Delp. One of my first tasks when I onboarded my team was to run the Kubernetes storage E2E tests using a CSI driver installed in a cluster with a Windows node pool. My mentor Jing at the time gave me enough instructions to do this and after some time with her help I could create a cluster with Linux and Windows node pools. The next steps were to install a CSI driver and to run the E2E tests. After I read the instructions, I learned that you can compile the E2E tests into a binary and run the test with kubetest. With this, I could run all of the Kubernetes tests. However, I was interested in running only the storage tests. Jing suggested to use the focus flag, and with that, I could run a single storage test. However, I saw that this test would sometimes pass and it would sometimes time out and fail, and I didn't know why. So suspected that it was related with Windows and suggested to go deeper. In this diagram, we can see what I was looking at in the cluster. I would run queue tests sometimes and the test would pass, sometimes it would fail, sometimes it would pass and fail, or fail, and I was not sure why. I had a few things in my mind to debug it. I could read the test source code and try to correlate it with the test logs. And in the meantime, I would try to see what was happening in the cluster. There were a lot of objects created and deleted in the cluster, and this happened too fast for me to understand what was happening. Another option was to add a few statements like slips or printfs in places where I suspect the, the test code would be failing. However, for every little change, I had to recompile the binary. I thought that there was a better option to do this. And the option that I thought of was to instrument the e 2 e test binary to run in debug mode with help. The advantages are that we can set breakpoints in any line, analyze the test objects that are defined in the code, analyze the cluster objects, and if I make this, if I make this, this would be a one-time setup. However, there were no docs in Kubernetes about how I would do this, and I was not sure if I would have enough time to do it. I also had a lot of questions about cube tests, and I didn't know that even if I could compile the binary in debug mode, if I would be able to run it with Delp successfully. My next step was to find out what cube test does under the hood, and what it's doing is calling a few shell scripts, which in the end call the e 2 test binary through the Ginkgo binary. And the idea that I had was what if we call that e 2 test binary with delb instead? I copied all of the flags that we had from the previous command. I compiled the binary in debug mode and I executed it with delb instead of ginkgo. And with that, I could see the delb command prompt and I could enter a few statements like break and continue. Break in this case is stopping at one line in the volume expansion code in the storage test suite. And what this test is doing, it's installing the CSI hostpath CSI driver, and it's creating a pod and a PVC. After the test run, it stopped at the line that I wanted to debug. And at this point, I thought that it would be a good idea to analyze the cluster. I could see that the pod was created. And I could also analyze it in the del prompt. In this case, I'm trying to print its name and check if it matches what I'm looking at in the cluster. This is just a simple example of what are the things that we could do with Delp. After this, I understood what was happening. The pod was getting scheduled in sometimes in Linux and it would pass, and it would sometimes get scheduled in Windows and it would fail. So my mentor suggested to add a node selector so that we could schedule the pod to run in Windows all the time and hit the issue and debug it. And I thought that this learning could be useful for everyone, and I added a new M bar that everyone could use to run their tests in debug mode. But we can continue and adding we can continue adding more debuggers. We can instrument the queue controller manager, which in this case I am running on the right and I'm connecting to it through my editor on the left. 
we can also debug other components like the kubelet in this case through the same commands I added a breakpoint in the volume manager reconciler so let's add a debugger to all the things thank you